I have survived death. <laughs>So the reason I have not uploaded is because of the holidays and this break I was like I'm gonna focus on YouTube videos I'm finally gonna get some YouTube videos up and I started to notice my throat was getting a little sore then it started getting really sore and like really raspy and I was like what completely lost my voice for about a day and it just took a toll on me this whole entire past week and a half I've had strep throat I've had sinus infections, ear infections, you name it, I've had it. Over the first semester of school, I have not been sick at all. And then, because I've been taking like these immune system vitamins and I tell you now, they, they work great. Like 10 out of 10, I do recommend. I thought I might as well just go ahead and try and cram a video in here. I do look a little bit, ew, thank you infections. Today I thought I would do a, a little portfolio uh, type of showcase thing. I don't really have a full sketchbook to show you, so I just have some odd and ends works that I've done throughout 2017 that I thought I would just show you. Before we get started with the video, I would just like to go ahead and mention I have a Redbubble shop. Yes, I have merch. You can go get uh, things for like my all my artwork on. Uh, T-shirts, mugs, um, you name it basically. Redbubble has it. They're having sales right now, like 20% off with New Year's. Go check that out. I'll link in the description. Another thing I want to mention is my Instagram. My Instagram is where I post all my art, all of it, and updates. Here's my Instagram and also my Twitter if you want to follow me there and check up on me and see if I'm doing okay. So without further ado, here is my 2017 portfolio. Now I wanted to split this up into two categories, uh, traditional and digital. The reason I want to do this is because this year has been a huge growth spurt for me in digital art. And while I still do traditional art, I have grown in traditional art. Digital art has shown more of my effort, I don't know, instead of just grabbing paint and working on a painting for 12 hours, I could finish a digital painting or digital illustration within a couple of hours it's easier and it's much much quicker for me to get finished with so I thought I would go ahead and get the traditional or the paintings out of the way so at the very beginning of the year my my first ever really painting was the my neighbor Totoro painting if you remember all the way back I want to say in March so this is the my neighbor Totoro painting so basically I watched practically all the Ghibli movies back in March or in February and I was like I really want to paint something from them because I just love the style. I did like how this turned out especially with the white gel pen rain. Definitely not the best thing but it's okay it's it's a good little showcase thing to have in my room. It is on this cabinet wood and this is like the shiny end. I primed it on the rough end but yes, this is acrylic. Uh, my specialty is mainly acrylic. I have been getting really into oils lately. I'll get more into that later. Um, but yes, this is a portrait titled Primary. If you can guess why it's primary, a lot of people ask me why my hair is blue. Well, you know, I tied in yellow, red, and blue. The primary colors. This is my first stuff portrait, so it'll always have a little place in my heart. And it's gonna last for a while, because it's on this wood. Sorry, I just gotta stare at it for a second. Okay. So I wanted to go a little bit smaller with this next portrait, and I wanted to delve a little bit more into portraits. But this one's really small and also an acrylic, and it took me like maybe two hours. It's not that great. The blending is choppy. This is Billie Eilish in a brown background. Yeah, it's another like one of the first ever more realistic color-wise portraits. This is what I. This is more like a test. This is coming out of the hands on a bigger canvas. This is also acrylic, and I like to pair this one with Billie because of the brown background. Now the story behind this one is I was on my Instagram feed and I seen this picture of Conan and I was like I would like to draw that or I would like to paint that. Pet peeve is whenever someone mistakes paint and draw 
I just did it. I'm so sorry. I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I seen this picture of Conan and I was like, I need to paint that. I really liked it because of the way the light hit his face and created the shadow on his other side of the face. And I really like how it turned out. I brought this with me as a showcase piece. All right, so getting more into the traditional stuff. So here I have like a big folder full of things and uh, drawings that I've done. This is all traditional as well. This is a sketchbook page that I had ripped out to showcase in an art show. Uh, one side has a little illustration thing. I, don't know, I didn't like the eyes, so I painted it. I really got experimental with this cloud design that I had been obsessing over. And you can really see it come through here. Illustration that's quite famous, for me anyway. Just a cool little sketchbook page. Uh, this dude is significant to me being one of the first illustrations that I've done in a liner and it kind of led me into my new style that I currently have today mainly seen in my digital so yeah he doesn't really have a name maybe just camper I think he's just called camper so this is an illustration from my previous room and whenever I painted my room blue it doesn't show any of that but I had lights all around my room wow I appreciate my art I appreciate my own art <laughs> Yeah. It's also watercolor and liner. Next, oh, another Conan, but this is on Copic cardstock paper. Colored this in marker, Copic marker, and went over it with Prismacolor colored pencils. This is very simple. Also from one of Conan's Instagram posts. Oh gosh, okay, the next one I really like because it was one of my full Copic marker illustrations. I've, one of the only ones I've ever done that's full. Um, I really, really like it, but the person it's based off of, she's my ex. This, I can't remember what it's called. There's a video, there's, the video's up, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if I made it private or not. This is one of the Copic marker illustrations I did probably back in February or March. Copic marker illustration, it's, but it says primary mellow loser and basically that's the whole thing that I've came up with about me and like mellow fellow and like primary mellow loser kind of like a persona thing <laughs> anyway that's me it's supposed to be me in like my own style this is another one of my other good um, paintings this is watercolor and it's on this weird mixed media paper the, it's weird the way it behaved whenever I painted this it's like the water sat on top of the paper. It's like it didn't absorb it. And then you'd wait a little bit and it would sink down in it. So now we're getting into cool, like more recent things. This one is like a little cactus with a flower crown. This is from Inktober that I only halfway did. So we had to have an emotion project. It had to show an emotion. It had to be in watercolor. It had to be in really colorful colors. So. I did this one and it's supposed to be peculiar like his sunglasses on he's like I'm feeling peculiar today I don't know I kind of based it off me but you know I don't look anything like that I've been liking the art I've been doing lately and then the one of the last projects we did in art was a hair project and most of the canvas had to be taken up by hair and I did this yes um, Basically the whole entire page is filled up by her hair and her hair has to make into something and her hair makes it into cobras. And she kind of has like a third eye, like mystical, you know, kind of like Medusa. I don't know really. Digital. Now my digital paint are all, I'll have to show up on the screen, but to name a few, here is one. This is a print. It's for a biology project. The dude had to have like some kind of disformity. I was like, why not a flower for an eye? Because how Tumblr can you really get with a biology project? A plant coming out of the TV. That's also probably in June or July. That's like one of the first ever digital illustrations I did. To name a few other ones, like to show up on the screen, a rose for you, it's like holding a rose. I based that digital painting off of Cat Creatures photo, um, or Annabelle. 
She had this really pretty picture of her holding a rose, perfect sunlight, you know. She always takes the best pictures. She's a really good vlogger. And then recently, the Billie Eilish uh, illustration did that one as an iconic representation of her new EP, Don't Smile At Me. That one, I just wanted to do a really detailed illustration, but I also wanted to add an environment to it. So I kind of added like this cityscape blank type of thing to it and the only thing really detailed is her but most of that digital stuff you can find on my red bubble i hope you enjoyed this little tour kind of thing i don't know this just shows some of my artwork and what's to come in the new year now i do plan sometime this year releasing a song i know you're like what i want to continue and make more videos uh, lifestyle art type of video comment down below if you want to see me do a painting video I'm just ready for the year God bless and I shall see you later bye